Hello, welcome to the next edition of the Wednesday special. Today, we are going to be playing out a strategy um, that is was a huge player in standard. We're going to see if we can't ha have it compete in the Pioneer format. We're going to be playing some Esper Legends. Now, at some point, let me know down in the comment section if you guys would like to see Abzan Legends. I think that could be also be a sweet idea. Not sure how exactly how it would be built, but I think Coco could be an interesting choice, right? If we can somehow curve a top in at three mana with Legends and then have uh, Coco, you could ramp in it with Aunt Moxfield. So let me know all that down in the comment section. But today, like I said, we're trying out Esper Legends. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you'll be forwarded for future videos. And let's get into the deck list. As you can see, we have three Kithian, four Skrelves, two Denix, three Gold, Forge Thopterix, two Lavinias, two Ronas. Uh, we have Thalia's, Adeline's, Rafines, you know, the, the typical legends that are the best legends in the format in Esper. 23 lands. Pretty reasonable for a aggro-ish style deck. We also have um, sideboard wise, we have Priest for the creativity matchup. We have Destroy Evil as a way to hate on um, Ragdoll's mid range. Rest in peace for Grease Fang as well as uh, Ragdoll Sacrifice, where they typically like to re keep reoccurring their cat. We have Lauren to blow up the oven, Redane to push out control, Lotus Field, stuff like that. Uh, Tulsa's Welcome is a way to hit the grindy matchups like Ragdoll's mid range, um, other mid range style strategies. We have Wedding Announcement as an alternative, another way to, you know, maybe they have a lot of spot removal. It's pretty good to make like abundant amount of tokens. And then we have Urza's Ruinous Blast is our choice of a sweeper that is a one sided sweeper, most likely, right? So we're facing Mono White, we could remove their board. You can come down on turn four with Mox Amber, so that's pretty decent. Unless, of course, we have Thalia, and then it's kind of taxed out, but we'll, we'll deal with that when the time comes. But that is our deck we're trying out today in the Pioneer format. Let's get into the gameplay. Wait, the Castle Walkway passes. Coast. Skrelv. Yeah. Death Cap. Cap Glade. Passes. Dark Slick Shores. Gold Forged Thornax. Pass the turn. Swamp. Passes. We didn't find a land. That stinks. Lavinia. Go to combat. Hit you with the Dino. Pass the turn. It just passes through his turn. No plays a forest. Draws with the castle. Passes. Alright, I guess we play another one. Thorn Thornax number two. And everything has Ward 4. Hit ya. Pass the turn. Finn for the opponent. Prey upon. We'll give it Pro Green. So we top deck a Kithian. We'll play the Kithian. Go to combat. Hit you with the two dinos in the air. Pass the turn. This time tries to go for the Skrelv. But how does he pay Ward 4? Nice stacking like effect right here, man. The, the taxing is real. Passes. So I have options. I could make this thing have pro green. It can't be blocked and I can flip it, but let's do it. I have nothing else going on. Green. Go to combat. Smack, smack, smack. Okay. Get the end flips. We will just target creature gets indestructible. So we will make Skrelv have indestructible. Pass. Okay. Gives it toxic two and then kills it. Comes back and he scoops it up. Okay, he just wanted to do some fun. Against this matchup, I can't tell if this is something like with uh, Phyrexian Obliterator or if it's just Death Touch. Maybe just up one lower one, down one Redain. And actually, wait, Redain actually isn't bad, right? Because the backside, I think I just go down to Adeline, run it like that. I actually go down to Lavinia, run it like that. Forest, Rot Priest, Drew Land, that's not bad. Coast, Kithian, Mox, Skrell. Yeah, he just passes through his turn. Hollow Fountain tapped. Thalia, I don't think I pass. I think I, I don't think I attack because he probably has a pump spell. Plays a glade. He scoops it up. One and oh, let's get in the next. Watery Grave tapped. Passes. Plaza 
Scrowl, yeah, shores, passes. Problem is I can't cast his Gold Forged. Oh wait, yeah, I can. Gold Forged. You got a removal spell for the Scrowl? You should. Okay. Pass the turn. Watery Grave. Passes. Play the attack of Numa. Rafine. Go to combat. Attack with the Gold Forged. I don't think I need the Courtyard. Pass the turn. Play the Catacomb. Ritual of Soot. That is a card. Plaza of Heroes. Shieldred. Go. So you need to answer it before I untap. Otherwise, we just keep leaving up Plaza of Heroes. Passes. We gain life. Play Ottawara. Go to combat. Smack you. Clean to dust my courtyard. Draws a card. Loses some life. Takes it down to 11. Pass the turret. Down to 9. Plays a swamp. Extinction event. Alright, I can't answer that. Passes. Screlf. Adeline. Pass the turn. Field of Ruin. Cycles a shark. X1. Passes. We draw a watery grave. That's not very helpful. Go to combat. Hit you with Adeline. Trades with the token. Pass the turn. Island and consider. Puts a consider in the center in the yard. Desperately probably trying to find the next ritualist set. Behold the multiverse. Scries one to the bottom. Passes. Go to combat. Hit you with Adeline. Down to two past the turn. Plays another field of ruin. Shadows verdict. There goes our graveyard. I didn't even. Oh my god. I didn't even. No there was nothing in my yard. Passes. Rafine. Play out of war. I keep the new one past the turn. Shielder's Edict makes me eat my Rafine. Considers. Plays a tap hall. Past the turn. Looks like a memory delusion bound. Nope. Clean to dust. To gain some life. Exiles my last card to draw a card. Passes through his turn. So many lands. Past the turn. Cycle a shark. Yep. 8-8 eight, eight shark. So now he hits me for 15. So we just come back and lose because we just draw another but lands. Ah, <laughs> uh, Play the shores. So we finally draw a threat. But at this point, it's not looking too hot. Adeline. Okay, I'm off. Wow. So maybe welcome and redain to push off those rafts that were a problem. Maybe down at Adeline. I don't think Lavinia is very helpful. Down all the Adeline's up wedding announcement. I don't like that. Arlo Fountain. Tap. Go. Play the Mox too, I guess. Oh, he doesn't have a counter spell up. Hall of Storm Giants. Courtyard. Denik. Yeah. Considers. Puts a verdict in the yard. Shores. Passes. We draw a coast. That's not terrible. But we don't have double black for this, which is a problem. Probably has a sensor. So I guess it doesn't really matter which one of these I pick. Welcome's probably the most beneficial. Go to combat, hit ya. Cut down. Cycles the sensor. Yeah, maybe I should have tapped this mox. Plays a grave. Passes. Skrell is free. We get to draw a card. Wedding announcement. Pass the turn. Edict's way my Skrell. Tap tithe. Passes. Redain. Sabotage. Dig through time. We draw a card. Plaza, that's good. That means we have a second black source. Play Denik. Go to combat. Hit ya. Make a door. Pass the turn. Field of Ruin. Cut down's my Redain. I mean, guess then you go ahead and wrap the rest of the board. Passes. Gold Forged. Draw a card. Skrell. Go to combat. Smack. He could Shark X2, which can take out a human token, but behold the multiverse. We draw a card and it flips. Ritual Soot. There goes my board. Passes. Shieldred. Pass the turn. Feel the ruins, my plaza. We have no basics. Classic Esper Legends. Fatal Push. Consider. Courtyard. Rafine. Mystical Dispute. Pass the turn. Passes the bag. We play Athalia. Drown of the Lock. Pass the turn. 
Behold the multiverse. Pathway. Passes. Get back Denik. Sabotage. Pass the turn. Makes a shark. Shark swings in. Rona. Sabotage. Shrine tapped. Pass the turn. We can't get back Denik yet. Makes another shark. Island. Or if plays a field of ruin. Hits me for four. Wedding announcement. Play the wedding announcement. Gear Hulk. Sure, for the sabotage. Or Drown of the Lock. One of the two works. Pass the turn. Hits me for nine. Down to seven. Go ahead and play a Denik. Cycles the sensor. Does that mean we're going to resolve a spell? <laughs> Cycle the sensor. We get to draw a card. Watery Grave. Play Gold Forge. Play a Tap Land. Pass the turn. Plays another Field of Ruin. Turns on the Hall. Swings out. This block's here. Do I have to block like this? So we take seven, gain two. And of course, we top deck a land. All right, so one and one. Got super flooded in that match. Couldn't pull out a win. Let's get into the next. Watery Grave, go. Planes. Hopeful Initiate. Thalia. Pass the turn. Castle Ardenvale. His own Thalia. Passes. I guess Coast? Rafine. Go to combat. Attack with Thalia. Get rid of Dark Slick Shores. Trades. Obfuscation. Alright, takes out my Rafine. You got two of those, though. I could double spell this turn, which probably is better into Shieldred. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, we, have, we drew the second Shieldred. Never mind. Who cares about the first then? Shelly, go. Lieutenant. Grows his dork. Another initiate. Grows the lieutenant. Passes. We get to gain some life. Play a Skrell. Play a Rafine. So this is essentially a 5-6. Two can't technically block and kill it. We get rid of, I think, Skrelv. Play a Godless Shrine tapped. Pass. Plays in a Plains. Copper Coat Vanguard. Pumps the Lieutenant. So now he gets to attack out with these two. Doesn't attack. Passes. Shieldred. Gains some life. Or one damage short. Right? Because if I make him unblockable... Or her unblockable. Attack out. We get two connive triggers. We pitch two. This gets two plus one plus one uh, counters. So three plus five. Eight plus two is from an upkeep. So I think I just go with Rafine. And don't risk Shelly. Or and also don't really tap out. Gain some life. Get rid of Rafine. Hit you for two. That means next turn we could present lethal. Pass. So they're at seven. Kithian. So, so far there's only one legend. There's two legends. So, you know, Urza's Ruinous Blast is pretty reasonable here. Goes to combat. Attacks, attacks, attacks. They train. We block here. Brave the elements. So his creature doesn't die. Sure. Honestly, why didn't you just do that pre-combat? Then I couldn't block. Do we gain some life? Go to combat. Attack. Do I make this pro white? And name white. Brave the elements. Okay, we just pitch Re Adeline and Forged, gain some life, and you have no blocks. Got gain number one. So we bring in these. That seems to be it. Redained is not as helpful. Or run it like that. And again, either is Lavinia. Maybe go down to Lavinia, up Announcement, run it like that. No, those are worse. Up Lauren and Redain, run it like that. Lanes, Recruitment Officer, Passes. Courtyard. Grell. Go. Planes. Hits me. Take it. Down to 18. Another officer. Another officer. Passes. We draw land. That's good. Play Ottawara. Play Thalia. Pass the turn. Adeline. Attacks out. Take 5 down to 13. There's no world where I want to play this for a fiend. I don't really want to shock myself. So I think I just play Kithian and pass the turn. Mutable. Wedding announcement. Goes to combat. 
Tax out with Adeline. Block the human token. Take four down to nine. The land would be pretty decent off the top. Makes another dork. We do not find a land. We play our own Rafine. Pass the turn. Copper coat. Thalia's lieutenant. That is a serious problem. And that means I can't profitably block the Adeline now. I was going to trade Adeline's, but it's off the table. Swings out with everything. Grows the Thalia's lieutenant. Okay, so this has to block here. This blocks here. This blocks here. So he loses two things. We lose one. We take eight down to one. We lost our Adeline. Oh, that's right. It that was a four two. That's not a horrible top deck. Denik. Question is, how do we stay alive? So, and Kithian. So Kithian blocks here. I don't block, block, go to three. Yeah, there's just no way. Got stuck on lands. Maybe we won't destroy evil as a way to kill the Thalia. I mean, kill the Adeline over the Redained. I don't like that. Actually, down the lore, the lore into the third path up the Redained. I don't like that. Coast. Grell, Mox, Go, Plains, Recruitment Officer, Courtyard, Adeline, Pass the Turn, Plains, Obfuscation, Targets my Adeline, we give it Hexproof from White, Passes, Play the Ottawara, Play Rona, Go to Combat, Hit with Adeline, Pass the Turn, Plays the Plains, Redained, Passes, Loot with Rona. Get rid of a Skrell. Play another Mox Amber. Untap the Rona. Keep the new Mox. Tap the Rona. Get rid of the Hollow Fountain. Godless Shrine. Taps. Alright, so if I attack with Adeline, it's fine, right? Because he would, she would trade with both. So we go ahead and attack with Adeline. She's a 5-4. Alright, just blocks the human token. Pass the turn. Castle Heart and Veil plays their own Adeline. Attempt to kill the Adeline. Brave. Okay, pro white. Seems decent. That means they can just attack right through, except for the token. Doesn't attack at all. Interesting. We untap. Tap Rona. Get rid of the Godless Shrine. Is this worth it? Oh, wait, no, it's not. I can't even cast it because of Redane. Give Adeline pro white. It hits you for 10. This is risky because they might have a removal spell. But I think I just need to get in there and finish this game. All right, blocks the human token. Takes five down to five past the turn. As long as they don't have an obfuscation or removal for the Adeline, it's over. Copper coat, sure. Goes to combat. Should attack with the Redain because it has vigilance, but does not. Passes. Play the shores. Give it. Pro white again. Destroy evil. Activate Rona. Kithian doesn't do anything. Okay. Adeline dies. Pass the turn. Thalia. Thalia's lieutenant. Grows the entire team. Goes to combat. Attacks, attacks, attacks. That's not a huge deal, I don't think. So 9, 12, 16. All right, we should be able... Can we come back? He has no cards in hand. We're at two. Hollow Fountain. Draw a card. Uh, another land. We seem to constantly find lands. Either we find too many, or we don't find enough. Seems pretty backwards. All right, we just shock ourselves. Yeah, we just got flooded. Well, one and two. Let's get into the wrap-up after two losses due to land issues. Let's get into it. So what did we learn this week about this deck? For one... We got blown out, of course, like most Esper Legend decks with a Field of Ruin. Honestly, you probably can cut an Auto War at an island. That at least helps you a little bit. There was never really a, a situation where I actually channeled any of those lands. So that was kind of weird. Um, my other takeaway, I, I think the lands in general are kind of messed up. We'll, I mean, let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree with that statement. But and this looks like a typical stock list of of what Esper Legends was running when it comes to mana bases. Either like I said, either we got flooded or we had the opposite effect where we just got screwed. We got stuck on three lands, couldn't cast our spells, and we lost a game. That seems to be the takeaway. Either draw enough lands or don't draw too many, right? Other than that, like 
the one downside I think of this deck has is like, uh, maybe we, I don't really care for Rona, but it maybe it's just worth it because of the fact that, you know, it can cycle through, draw, get rid of our lands. So does Rafine help with that, I guess. Those seem to be the only payoffs, I guess, outside of the welcome and the sideboard. And I guess the announcement also helps. So like when this deck is the aggressor, it does quite well. Um, but just surprisingly, we lost that last game. Uh, I don't know if I got anything differently. I definitely, I think I had to attack. His board was getting too big and too, you know, too, and I had to go for the lethal. Um, so if I would have waited, I'm pretty sure he still would have won. We would have lost our Adeline due to combat because we would have had a block with it. So I just don't think it, we had a, a better opportunity. So I think we had to go for it, but, it, you know, we did not draw lands afterwards. So, I mean, we did not draw action afterwards. Like I said, if there's anything you guys would have suggested, let me know down in the comment section. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you'll be aware for future videos. And until next time, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.